All right, yeah, so back from work for another week. Um, yeah, getting straight into the international. Gonna, um, I've already started. Yeah, I pulled the, pulled the sump off the five liter. Got the new, um, new sump here, HQ style sump and uh, engine mounts. So yeah, just gonna get stuck into that this morning. Gonna um, swap the sump over, put the engine mounts on, chuck it in the truck. <coughs> Haven't got the gearbox yet, but I've got the um, old Turbo 400 there. So I'm gonna bolt that up to it and work out, yeah, how much of the firewall in the floor I need to trim out to make it all work. Um, Turbo 400 is bigger than the 700, so if I make it fit that, um, and yeah, Jerry wants to upgrade later, he can. So yeah, just gonna get straight into it, get the sample on, and get it in the truck, right up. Oh yeah, so yeah, she's sitting in there now. Uh, obviously not on the right angle, but um, yeah, I'll get that transmission, that Turbo 400, um, bolted up to it. You can see um, like the distributor just sort of walks into the into the firewall, and there's no way of getting the heads off if that um, firewall wasn't relieved. So yeah, um, looking pretty good though. Pretty happy. It's not too intrusive on the firewall, so. Yeah, it's gonna work out nice. Oh well, yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna um, get that transmission bolted on and um, see what we're working with. Oh well, yeah, so looking at the clearance I got, um, which is basically nothing at the moment to bolt that transmission up to, I won't be able to get it up in there. So I'll have to get rid of this original tunnel and the fact that the floor is a bit of Swiss cheese, um, yeah, you can see it's ain't the greatest, so I was kind of plating doing a full floor on this thing anyway. See there's a big hole in there. Someone's just put ultra blue or silicon over rust holes there. So what I'm gonna actually end up doing is just, yeah, I'm just gonna cut this whole tunnel and floor out from down there at the moment. Take the whole thing out to the rear rear brace. Um, and yeah, start from scratch. So that's probably what my next move is, is yeah, <laughs> cut this tunnel and this floor out and um, yeah, get this transmission motor up. Get into it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh yeah, she's out. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got to go through. Obviously, trim these up. <clears throat> Forgot about these um, racing panels under here, which are also rusted. So they were going to get replaced anyway. So yeah, I'll go in. Probably lift the cab back off um, uh, after a while when I'm ready. Um, and that's when I redo all that stuff. So yeah, at least the <clears throat> main floors out of the road. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll trim it all up later. Um, so yeah, now I'll get to, um, find it, let's put the transmission on and, um, yeah, get the cross member in or get a cross member in, set it up there and see, um, see what we're going to see how far this transmission is going to protrude into the, um, floor in the tunnel and see what we've got to build. Alrighty, let's get into it. Alrighty, yeah, so yeah, floor's out and dummy transmission is in. So yeah, it gives me a good idea of what I'm working with. Um, I think I gotta go to town now and get some um, sheet metal, start building that floor wall and the um, and the floor repairs and all that out. So yeah, um, it's good that I got that done this morning. Yeah, go and get some supplies and we'll um, start looking at the floor wall, I think. We'll start the floor wall tunnel. Um, yeah, then work away to the floor. So yeah, we'll start in the town and come back here. Alrighty, oh, so I'm back. Um, got a bit excited, carried away the other day. I, I didn't get to body film anything, but um, <clears throat> yeah, I got a good start on the um, the firewall and basically, um, yeah, built out all the tunnel there. Um, really happy with how it's sort of coming along. Um, 
exhaust guard out's not welded in yet. I'll probably wait until I um, do a few rush repairs underneath and I just got the seat uh, sitting in there. Got the seats the other day and the diff. Diff's under the bench there. So yeah, probably see the tunnel a bit better from this side. So yeah, tunnel's in. I've got to finish the um, the firewall on this side and yeah, make the floor for this side. So yeah, probably film, film that today. Um, yeah, like I said, got a bit carried away and just sort of got into it, didn't didn't film any, but um, yeah, really happy the way that's come along. So, um, also, um, got some new additions there. Um, they turned up, so I got me new sheet metal brake, uh, planish and armor, shrink a stretcher, and bead roller. So yeah, that's gonna make, um, Gonna make my life a lot easier and be able to produce some better better jobs with them. Still waiting on a roller, got a roller coming, it's on back order, so oh right, yeah, so yeah, I'll get into it. We'll um yeah, finish off this firewall and yeah, probably plate the, the rest of the firewall where the old pedal box and booster and that went. Um and yeah the old steering hole, I'll plate all that in. Dress that firewall right up and um yeah, get all finished off, then move on to the floor and yeah, we can end it. All right, so we got the um, rest of that cardboard template sort of figured out. So yeah, <clears throat> pull that out, lay it out on my um, sheet metal, work out my me, um, me line brakes there. Um, yeah, start folding and trimming and um, get it worked out, get it tacked in, weld it up. And yeah, we'll work on the other. The other bits of the fall that I want to take care of, I'll rip this off and get into it. All right, so I got that template out of the fall there. Just gonna lay it down on the sheet metal here and work out, um, yeah, best piece to. Um, Use here and then we'll bloody cut her out. They're trying to waste it on. I'd say that's pretty close. Marking it out pretty fat, giving it giving it a bit of extra. So we've got that piece cut out. We'll uh, take it back over with our template. 
and we'll work out our um, fold lines. Mark it out, yeah, give it give it its first couple of folds and yeah, just trial, trial fit it and um, yeah, cut and grind until we're happy with it. So yeah, I'll spare you the process, but yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I'll reconvene when I got it um, sorted out. Alrighty, so this is what we're working with. Um, it's not quite 100% perfect, but it's yeah, it's really close. So probably going to um, tack it in and yeah, just tweak it and move it around and get it sitting where I want. And um, yeah, weld out the good portions of it, and then yeah, trim what's left over, and um, yeah, finish welding it and blend it. Down over here, and uh, yeah, I'll get to tacking. I've got, um, got that piece pretty much all welded in there now. Uh, yeah, really happy with how that turned out. And I just made the um, little fill-in template here for the, um, the original brakes, pedal box and that used to bolt to there. Master cylinders and all that jazz. Obviously I'm not running the factory stuff. Probably VT Commodore I'm thinking. <clears throat> Same as on Jigsaw. So yeah, just made a little template there. Uh, I'm gonna weld that in now. Um, debating on whether I fill this hole in just yet. Um, Probably will, because yeah, I'll remake all that. Uh, I'm not sure what con I'm going to use yet. And yeah, just fill in these other holes and stuff that not not needed at the moment. And yeah, get all that cleaned up and bare metal it, and um, yeah, probably move on to the floor then. So I've gone ahead and um, yeah, fully welded out that um, section of the floor all there. Um, haven't dressed any of it up yet, so yeah, that's all in. I made patches. Um, for the other bits of the foil, like I was saying, um, clean that up already. Just filling in these other holes, um, just getting ready to um, grind and sand them. So, yeah, that should be everything in the foil that needs plugging up. Um, yeah, that's where the wiper motor goes, that's their bottom hinges over there and there. So, um, just leaving that, the original steering column hole open for now. Um, yeah, don't know if I need to um, plate that off or not um, to recut a new hole, so I'm just going to leave it until I get the column. Um, so yeah, going to go ahead and sand these up and um, yeah, clean that file up for now. Um, and then move on to cutting that uh, drive side floor out. So yeah, rip into it.
Oh yeah, so this is what we got up to Yessi. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed you all this, but yeah, got the um, final button up as um, far as I want to sort of do it at the moment. Really happy with that. Um, so yeah, just got a bit of easy foss on that. Um, so from Rustin, actually give the cab a bit of a um, Scotch Bright there. Um, not Scotch Bright, bloody steel wool. Um, clean it up. Yeah, really happy with that. So. Um, so what I'm moving on to now, just going to start playing with the floor again. Um, I'll just cut out this piece here. This is a this is a um, panel that goes um, from the inside of the rocker up to the floor, and it was just all rusted out. You can see all the bog in there. Um, and this outside is actually rusted out. You can see from there all the way up. So I'm thinking about just knocking, leaving that top seam in, knocking that whole. Um, that whole piece out there, remaking that before I stitch the um, the top in. Um, the other side's pretty much the same. So yeah, might might start with that, and then we'll yeah think about either making the other side floor or um, yeah remaking that. So anyway, I'm gonna get to cutting. Alrighty, so I'm not sure I got up to the other day. I had dramas again with my GoPro. I don't know what's going on with it, but I think I got a fair bit done since the last time we um, we ended up filming. So I got um, it's not fully welded, but I got that rust repair section done in there. Um, the left hand side floor is tacked in, it's not fully welded. Uh, got to mount that passenger seat yet, but I've uh, half mounted the driver's seat. Um, so that's done. Went and uh, mounted the brake booster and pedal box and accelerator cable, accelerator pedal. Um, yeah, that's all done. Pretty happy with that. Um, that's the steering column just sitting there, it's not mounted. Um, yeah, went ahead and done that. I've got the repair section done on that side too, drive side too, and yeah, seats mounted at the front just for a few tacks. Uh, got the park brake uh, mounted, so yeah, really happy. Got a fair bit done. Yeah, pedal box is in there as you can see. I've got to finish mounting the pedal box. It's mounted through the firewall, but it's got to, um, on the top side, I just got to make a bracket. As you can probably see in there, just got to make a bracket from the pedal box back to the body, stabilise that. Um, so yeah, probably first up I'll just make those, um, probably make those front mounts on the seat. And I'm not sure if this was done the other day or not, but I started making the um, radiator support slash uh, bumper bar brackets. Um, just got that uh, welded up, it's only tacked in the position, it's not held in held in there by any of them but um, yeah it's just going to live under there it's tucked in nice on the radio support what I'm going to do is yeah I've got some thick plate going to run from the bump, the factory holding bump bar brackets down and actually pick that up both sides going to leave these here like as a stabilizer as well um, but yeah the, the whole radiator support will be supported by that um, yeah, which will work out really nice so yeah, going to um, yeah, I'll get these floor. I'll get the um, seat, uh, this passenger seat, the front brackets folded up and tack them in, and um, yeah, probably work on that radiator support. Get that done, and then yeah, we'll move on to the next job. Not quite sure what that is yet, but yeah, we'll get into those bits anyway. Alright, so I just folded up them. Uh, 
front seat brackets for the um, passenger seat, just tack them in for now. Um, yeah, I haven't done the rear mounts for both sides yet, but that's alright. Get to that as long as the position's known, so yeah. Just went ahead and took the inner guards back out. Um, just drew up a, um, got a template happening here. Uh, for how I'm gonna, yeah, pick up that support there. So like I said, picks up those factory bumper bar brackets and goes that bit of RHS. Um, gonna do that both sides. And then, um, yeah, underneath, underneath this RHS, I'm gonna make a tongue that's gonna pick up that factory sound bolt for that radio support. So that's how it's gonna be supported. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep these little stabilizer brackets here. Um, every little bit helps, so. Yeah, just gonna cut, um, cut two of these out. And then yeah, get them bolted on, get it welded on. So yeah, let's get into it. Oh right, yeah, um, not sure where I left you guys there. Um, sort of got stuck in, done a fair bit of work. Bit slack with the old filming um, for this bit. Um, so I've got the um, front floor mounts for the um, front uh, left hand seat tacked in. I haven't fully welded them out. Um, Done a fair bit of welding on that left hand floor pan. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've just been playing around with the console was on there. Um, I did end up um, making the radio support cross member. Um, it's pretty well done. Um, yeah, you can see those plates I've made. There's the support over there. You've got a little tongue sticking out underneath the radio support. So, yeah, one big job I got out of the road. So, pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, I'll clean it up and finish off whatever welding and grind I need to when I need to get it out. So, uh, like I said, not sure what else where I left you guys, but um, started, um, yeah, stripping back a bit of paint, just seeing what sort of rust I'm working with in the roof. It's not too bad, but yeah, obviously got a bit there. Uh, handbrakes, handbrakes in, that's all done. It's got to make a bit better bracket um, for the back, but it actually works. It's all good. Um, so yeah, I think I might button this um, video up here. I've got to go back to work tomorrow. So um, yeah, had a really, really good um, days off on the on the truck. Um, yeah, I'll button him up, and we'll get back into it. Um, get back in next time, mate. Thanks for watching, eh? I'll catch you next time.